A person who thinks all the time has nothing to think about except thoughts. So, he loses touch with reality. What's going on, guys? We're at 14 and a half weeks out from our show. Today, we're going to take you through a push day, which is going to consist of mainly chest focused with a little bit of shoulder work at the end. So pretty much we're gonna be getting after it. The main goal of this whole entire workout is to bring intensity, going to failure on a lot of different sets. So that's what we're gonna show you today. By thoughts, I mean specifically, chatter in the skull. Perpetual and compulsive repetition of words. So we're getting into a movement now, um, our first pressing movement. Typically we would do a fly or some type of warming up first. We're actually doing a little extra warm-up sets on a flat dumbbell first. So this is gonna be our first main set. I'm gonna go ahead and assume about three warm-up sets, and then we'll start our working sets. So we just wanna make sure we're a little bit stronger today. That's why we're doing it first. Of reckoning and calculating. I'm not saying that thinking is bad. Like everything else, it's useful in moderation. A good servant, but a bad master. Uh. And all so-called civilized peoples have increasingly become... Last set, that was our fourth set. Um, ended up doing one extra. The back up set, 120s. Um, sometimes we just train off a feel, no matter what the program says. So we feel like we're gonna do an extra set, or we wanna do an extra set, we just go the for real it. World. So, we just got done doing four working sets of incline dumbbell. We're moving to a fly motion. The first set of any new movement that I like to do is always a feel set. Not necessarily a warm up uh, because the muscle's already warmed, but I like to call it just a feel set just to get used to the motion. Then we'll jump into our three working sets, what we're gonna do on cable flies. beginning of meditation. Set, triple drop set, do a top set, go to failure, or uh, most of my reps, failure. Drop the weight by 15 to 20%, go to failure. Last set, go to failure again, but obviously Joseph was there to spot me, to take me beyond failure, so I couldn't do those reps if he wasn't there. That's really just forcing the muscle into basically extreme growth, if you will. You know, I need to watch out. I'll go, I'll go for 15. You grab one tangent, dipshit. Bro, come on. I didn't grab them. You grabbed them. See? Millennials, man. Or not, sorry, not millennials. Fucking Gen Z. You thought you was alpha, dog. Right. I thought you were alpha as shit. Dude, why you <laughs> <laughs> Joseph, man. Hey, I'm just not gonna go heavy because my shoulder low. Sometimes we've been going to do incline barbell. It's our third, third, fourth week, fourth week to do incline barbell. With the impingement of my shoulder, I'm not really the back to 100% with doing it. So I'm keeping this, just this exercise light. Most of us would have rather money than tangible wealth. And a great occasion is somehow spoiled for us unless photographed. So we're, we're about an hour and a half, hour and 15 minutes into the workout. We're done with chest. Took a little bit longer than expected. Move on to shoulders, two movements, laterals um, on the arsenal strength machine. And then we're going to do a rear delt movement, probably a face pull. This part of the workout is definitely uh, fatigued, but got to keep pushing on. We are destroying nature. We are so tied up in our minds that we've lost our senses. Time to wake up. What is reality? Obviously, no one can say because it isn't words. It isn't 